Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are another family of organic compounds. They contain the carboxyl functional group and are weakly acidic. The carboxyl functional group has this structure. We have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and also bonded to a hydroxyl functional group. You may also see it written in short and structural formula. Due to the structure, it's always on an end carbon. The general formula for the carboxylic acids is Cn, H2n, O2. The naming of the carboxylic acids follows the same pattern as other organic uh, families has. Starting from methanoic acid where we have one carbon, So we have the formula CH2O2. This is the fuel structure. And here would be the shortened structure. Ethanoic acid, C2H4O2, has the following structure. So we have two carbons. On the end carbon, we have the functional group and then we have the rest of the chain. Propanoic acid, C3H6O2. So we have three carbons and on the end one we have the functional group. Butanoic acid has four So one mistake that people often make is to not count the carbon which has the functional group on it. So be careful when you are naming or drawing carboxylic acids. Care also needs to be taken with the number of bonds on the carbons making sure you don't accidentally add an extra H onto that carbon which has the carboxyl functional group. So here we have butanoic, pentanoic and hexanoic acid. And then our final two, heptanoic, C7H14O2. And then finally, octanoic acid, C8H16O2. Pause the video now and draw heptanoic acid and C3H6O2. So heptanoic acid is C7. So we start with our backbone of seven carbons. And on the end carbon, it can be either end, we draw the functional group. Go along and fill in all of the bonds for the carbons, making sure each of them has four and add in all of the hydrogens. So C3H6O2 is going to be propanoic acid. So we start with our three carbons, add in the functional group on one of the end carbons, 
and then add in the hydrogens for all of the other carbons. Pause the video now and name these two molecules. So for this first one, we need to count the carbons. We have one, two, three, four. So four is always but. So we've got butan, so we've got all single bonds, and oic acid for the functional group. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is always hex. We've got single bonds, so hexan, and oic acid for the functional group. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.